Hi guys, we are about to embark on our big bicycle journey of the year to the south of Europe. And before we hit the road, I wanted to give you an overview of the tools we carry when we go bicycle touring. Starting with the base kit for short term travel that we expand upon with a long tour add-on kit when going on multi-month tours. The items you will see in this video are chosen to strike a balance between lightweight and high functionality in most use cases. I will also give you insight in some of the tools we used to carry, but we now leave at home because we couldn't justify their weight to functionality ratio. Do keep in mind that for some more extreme problems out on the road, a bike shop might be needed. First up is this little pouch, of course very easy to keep your things organized in, with a zipper on top for easy access. The Jack of All Trades multi-tool, the Crank Brothers M19. Besides being an Allen key multi-tool, it also has a Torx 25 we use for our bags. It has a spoke wrench, a chain breaker tool, and also an eight millimeter Allen key we use to remove and assemble our pedals with. Before the M19, we used to have these loose tools and they worked, but they were a bit bulky and we didn't use them all the time. So we really wanted to scale down to have a more compact base kit that was easy to carry and still had lots of functionality. A new tool I recently discovered are these tire levers and they combine also as chain pliers. I thought it was a very smart idea and I bought them for a few dollars on AliExpress. The two little fork parts, they cut into the chain line where you can squeeze to open up the chain link, to swap out the chain for example, or to work on other parts of your bike. Also, the tire lever part is pretty adequate, but they're not the best I ever used. So keep in mind, this is kind of a compromise. I used to use these old school metal tire levers. The metal can scratch up your rims and also more easily can puncture your inner tire. And three is also a bit overkill. For the chain loop, we used the Pedro's Ice Wax 2.0. This is a dry loop that keeps your chain pretty clean. You have to apply it quite often though. We use the slender bottle to keep it all compact. In a small plastic bag, I keep my patch and glue kit. First up is this little plastic bag where everything is kept in. Then a piece of sanding paper. Next up, an outer tire patch when you have a tear in your tire. Then we have an assortment of all sizes of patches a tube of rubber cement glue and some self-adhesive patches for a quick fix. Our pump of choice is the Topeak Road Morph, an excellent little pump with a lot of volume. It's joy to use with a lot of great features, including this little foot stand to keep everything stabilized on the ground while pumping. I would like to thank some commentators for helping me out while using this pump with Presta valves. You can just take out this rubber, turn it around, put it back in again, and then you can change from Presta to Schrader or vice versa. I always like to carry a spare inner tube just to change it out really easily when you have a flat one. It's just fast that way and really convenient. One of the most important add-ons for us is a good multi-tool. We use the Letterman rebar which is both small and has a lot of functions. Among others, there's a sharp knife, some flathead screwdrivers and a good file. Also a safety knife, a Phillips head screwdriver and a nice little saw. And the most important feature, these are the pliers, of course very important for gripping things. And they come with an interchangeable cutting blade, so when they are damaged, it's easy to swap out. It comes in this small pouch, it's extra weight we don't want to carry now, so we leave it at home. We used to carry an adjustable spanner, but now we're going with these open end wrenches. They're both a number 8 and 10. The top one is a lightweight version, but the machine tolerances are not that great. So we're probably only gonna take the bottom one. This is one of these items I want to check out for our next trip. It looks to be a promising piece of kit. It's an aluminium chain pliers, which are a knockoff of a more expensive brand. They feel sturdy and lightweight. They also double as a tire lever and I'll take these with me as a backup for the plastic ones I have in the base kit. This is the next best thing too. It's a specialty cassette remover. Normally you need like an elaborate set of tools to remove your cassette 
but this one uses your frame and this small tool so you can change out the cassette or when a spoke is broken you can change it out on the cassette side of the wheel. A specific tool you might carry is this one for a brook saddle so when the saddle starts to sag you can tighten it up again. This is an overview of all the tools we used to carry, but we didn't use them that often, or not at all. So we're now leaving them at home. Starting left at the bottom is a specific bottom bracket tool. Then we have a crank puller, the Thud Buster repair kit, some wax, a metal tin containing the patch kit, the old tool bag, some extra patches, a full tube of grease, a chain ring tool, and an adjustable spanner. Just like as in the base kit, we use the Pedro's Ice Wax as chain loop, but this is the big bottle, and this one we use to fill out the small and slender bottle we have in the base kit. This cotton bag is our rag bag. It contains all kinds of miscellaneous pieces of cloth, and in a pinch we can use the bag itself as a rag too. To clean the chain specifically, I like to use an old sock, because it gives an excellent grip without the rag getting caught in the sprockets and the chain. An old toothbrush is also really handy to get down into the nitty gritty of cleaning your drivetrain thoroughly. I take these two small containers, one with grease and the other NTCs, to help maintain different parts of the bike and stop corrosion between different metals. Some simple lightweight gloves really help to keep your hands clean from all the grease and debris and they weigh next to nothing. The new tool bag is a toiletries bag from Decathlon. It has these individual compartments with a zipper what makes it very easy to organize. An along tour spare parts are really essential and one of the things we do is take an extra chain to swap it out every thousand kilometers or so just to keep the drivetrain in the best condition it can be. In the base kit we use one inner tube but on a long tour we like to use two. Just to have some peace of mind if one would rip that you have an extra spare. This is a comparison between the old and the new spare parts box, the old one being the one on the left. The newer box is a lot smaller and contains less quantity of the same things. In here are nuts, bolts, washers, chain links and other small parts we might need on the bike. Our favorite brake pads are these from Colstop. They have a dual compound braking surface that lasts also for a very long time and we take two pairs with us. Spare brake and shifter cables are also very important to have in my opinion. These stainless steel ones are really good and they hold up the rust really well, but over time they can start to fray and especially with the brake cables, you need to change them out to be safe. The C tube I use for the storage of my spare spokes. After removing the blue foam stopper, there are some other pieces of foam holding the spare spokes into place. Hi guys, welcome back. Hope you learned something. Hope you got some value out of this video. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. We'll try to answer them. Up here, we're gonna put some extra videos for you guys to watch. If you would like to like, subscribe and hit the bell, that helps us and the channel out a lot. So thank you for that. And we'll see you guys in the next video.